live launch or evergreen funnel? There are people making millions telling you it has to be one way or the other, so who's right? What's right for you? The answer is adult diapers. It depends. In today's video, we're gonna break down the differences between a live launch and an evergreen funnel, the pros and cons of each, who should do a live launch, who should do an evergreen funnel, and who should not do the live launch or an evergreen funnel so that you can make the decision that is best for you and your business. If we haven't met yet, hi, I'm Brittany McBean. I am a conversion copywriter and launch strategist, and simply put, I write live launches and evergreen funnels for my clients. And I don't have a preference, I love them both. So let's dive in. Okay, so a live launch. I'm defining a live launch as an event that happens in your promo calendar. It is a true cart open, a true cart close, and it is a concentrated period of time where you are selling one product. This could be webinar, this could be a challenge, this could be a workshop, however it is that you are selling it, a live launch is that defined period of a cart open and a cart close. I personally love live launching. Not a lot of people do, and that's okay. I love doing it for my business. So. What are some of the pros? Well, the cash flow. You get a big cash influx at once and that can really help fund some investments or some next level opportunities for you. You get to engage with your people in real time, really having those in the moment conversations, keeping your finger on the pulse and truly understanding what your people want and need while they are making a buying decision. There's usually just more energy in a live launch. Yes, that can also be a con, but people get to experience that vibe, that buzz that's happening while you are launching. You're going to see higher conversion rates with a live launch, not necessarily higher revenue, but your launch conversion rates are gonna be much higher because this is the only time people have to invest in this program. Another pro is that you don't have to invest in ads year round. You can either do ads for a time for one campaign or do no ads at all and do all organic lead gen. When your live launch is over, it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. I mean, I would argue that you should be planning your launches year round, always something working in the background, but it doesn't have to be the core focus when you're not in launch mode, which is kind of nice to take a break. Because you don't have a ton of things on automation, it just requires less tech setup, which is gonna lower your tech and tool investment and the amount of things that can break. And even though I say use this sparingly, the urgency and scarcity is real. The cart is actually closing, which means that there is a deadline, which does increase those conversion rates. So the cons of a live launch, the biggest one is that it is draining. A lot of people don't know how to plan or manage a launch, which means them and their team are up super late during launch mode. They're fixing broken links and broken tech. They're dealing with angry people in their support because they couldn't get on the webinar. It drains your energy if you are not set up right. We have really low key launches over here. Nobody works late and they still perform pretty high, but that's not common and it took a lot of time to get there. Another con or pro, depending on how you look at it, is the pre-launch content. That's subjective, not everybody does it, but if you are doing a live launch, you're gonna be planning a period of time before your launch where you're doing hyper-specific pre-launch content specific to that program versus just doing year-round content that consistently points back to that program and allows you to talk about some other things in your industry or other things that you wanna discuss. Pro or con, you decide, but the reality is a pre-launch is a part of a launch. And the two biggest cons for me are, one, you can't make money every day on that specific program. You make your money while you're launching, which is, again, that huge cash flow is really nice, but it also means that throughout the rest of the year, you don't have that cash flow coming in. And the last con is that people can only get your program when you're selling it. That may or may not work for your people. So a live launch might be for you if you just love live launches. If you have a lot of energy, you love teaching live, you love engaging with people, and that fills you up, this would be a good fit for you. And if not, that's okay. It's a good fit if you have a team that can help you plan and manage your launch and keep everything really stress-free so it's not all on your shoulders. If you run something cohort style where there is a start and end to someone's experience, that's a great fit for a live launch. Or if you teach something that isn't terribly time sensitive, that's another great reason that you could live launch and it could really be a good fit for your audience. If you have a business where you're able to block off a significant chunk of time on the calendar, you don't have to do client work year round, you don't have to be coaching other people with a full schedule year round and you can say, these 12 weeks we're all in on launch mode that's another great reason that this could be a good fit for you if you're not ready or just don't want to invest in all the tools all of the tech the facebook ads the ads manager all the stuff that is involved with going evergreen then that's okay just keep live launching until you're there and if you are still validating your audience or your offer i recommend that you live launch do not put something that is unvalidated on evergreen because that is a lot of time 
in resources invested in something that may or may not be proven. So validate your audience, validate your offer, validate your messaging, and then Evergreen might be a good fit for you. A live launch just may not be a good fit for you. The number one reason, if you don't like it, if you do not enjoy live launching, don't do it plain and simple. Public speaking or teaching or doing webinars like gives you like cold sweats, then again, maybe it's not a good fit for you. If you have the type of content that people need when they need it, like for example, a birth course, there's one time in their life they need that content and they need it ASAP, then Evergreen might be a better fit for you. If you have ongoing work that you cannot pause under any circumstance, don't try to fit a launch on top of that. All right, let's talk Evergreen funnels. So I'm defining an Evergreen funnel as a process or an automation sequence that runs in the background every single day, unless you turn it off. So somebody has to opt in and then they're gonna go through a promotional sequence. It could be one email, it could be five, it could be a filmed webinar, but they are going to go through a sequence that ends at a certain time, but the cart doesn't necessarily close. This could be something that's open enrollment and therefore there isn't that urgency and scarcity, there isn't that cart end date, or it could be a funnel where you are creating a reason for them to buy by the fifth day, for example. All right, so an evergreen webinar is pretty sweet for cash flow because you're making money every day, hopefully, or most days out of the year. But when that is running in the background, you are gonna have that consistent revenue coming in that of course you can optimize and increase, but it's gonna come in day in and day out every month of the year so that you can just do some better forecasting and planning. Another great pro is that it's available when people need it. Sometimes people just want something right away and if they can go there and get it immediately, that's a huge pro. Quite frankly, it's just less concentrated energy. There isn't this like, hustle vibe around an evergreen funnel. There can be to get it up, and of course you're tweaking it in the background, you're working on it, you're optimizing it. It's not a set it and forget it kind of thing, but you're not having that concentrated period of time where you're all in in launch mode. Because you can create year-round content around this, you can build up your authority year-round with every single piece of content that you're putting out there. Optimizing and tweaking is a little bit easier because you just have a longer amount of time to collect some data, and then you can go in and tweak one piece at a time, whereas when you're in live launch mode, you're not going in and fixing your sales page. I mean, you could, if you have a team, you might be able to do that, but it's not likely where you're gonna be focusing your energy. You can pre-record something. If public speaking or live speaking makes you nervous, it is amazing to be able to sit down and plan and record. You don't have to edit, but just knowing that you have control over the recording and your time and there's no rush is really, really freeing. And I already mentioned this, but a huge pro I think is being able to collect data over a long period of time so that you're really getting the information on the aggregate, not just one concentrated moment in time. All right, so the cons for an evergreen, well, it is more of an investment. You need more team members and you need more marketing and you need more tools. Need can be subjective. Yes, you can be the only one doing this. That personally sounds miserable to me, but you do you. You're amazing if you can, but you're going to need to invest in software that can have this running in the background to the funnel software, the webinar software, all of those tech tools. You're gonna to have someone managing that tech if it's not you, someone who can go in and fix things, someone who can um, jump on something right away if there's an emergency. There's no such thing as a marketing emergency. You're gonna need someone in that support inbox year round. You're going to need someone running your Facebook ads if it's not you. Ads managers looks like Latin to me. The back end of ads manager does not compute. I need someone to run my ads. So that is rather than a campaign investment, that is a year round investment as well as the ad spend. So yes, you're making money and you could be making more money in a year's time than just doing a couple live launches, but there also is a bit more of a higher investment. It's not a set it and forget it thing. It does need to be optimized. It does need to be tracked. It does need to be tweaked. So this isn't you set it up once and then you go live your best life on a beach in Fiji, but you also don't have to be in it all day every day. It can take a really long time to validate the audience. When you build something out in a bubble and then put it out there, it is going to take weeks if not months of testing to make sure that you're even getting your funnel in front of the right audience before you can even begin optimizing the offer and the messaging. We've already talked about this, but the tech can break and broken tech isn't fun. But with an evergreen funnel, it's less of a like, Oh my God, we gotta dive in there right now. This is an emergency. This is one of only five days that we can make a sale. You're not gonna have that finger on the pulse vibe and feel for how your people are experiencing your messaging. Yes, you're gonna get support requests. Yes, you're gonna get things in your chat box and email responses and all of that, but the energy isn't there, the urgency, that concentrated amount of time. So just overall, people are going to communicate a little bit less, which means you may not know exactly what's going on with them. You don't have that live launch energy, which for some people might be a really good thing and for others might be a con. 
And then lastly, and this is subjective, but you do have to, you don't have to. There is a sense of manufacturing some urgency. So if you have a funnel that has an end date, you can't say the cart closes because it doesn't. That is a lie. So you might have to create a bonus that isn't available after that date or a pricing that isn't available after that date. You don't have to have any urgency and scarcity at all, but that is an extra hurdle with an evergreen funnel. So an evergreen funnel might be a really good fit for you if you know that your people need that content right now. When they need it, they wanna go and grab it. If you have the resources to invest in your ad spend and your ads manager and your tech team and your tools year round, it's gonna be a really great fit because you're gonna have the people on your team assigned to that and you just get to lead the big vision of that. If you have someone in your business, whether it's you or someone else accountable for gathering and analyzing the data, this is a great fit for you because if you're not analyzing that data, you're not looking at the numbers and making optimizing decisions based on that, it kind of isn't a huge point of having that running in the background because you're just gonna be spending your money and not optimizing it. And the most important, this is a great fit for you if you just don't want to live launch. If that's the only reason, that's good enough. All right, this is not a good fit for you if you do not have a validated offer. If you do not know your people, if you have not validated the messaging and your offer is not validated with social proof and has been optimized, keep live launching until you can figure that out and then put it on Evergreen. If you've got like a bare men's team, like no tech support, nobody in the support inbox, nobody to fix things when they break, then maybe this might cause you more stress than it's worth. If you're not ready to invest in ads and you don't have like an off the charts organic lead gen game, then this might not be right for you yet. And if you're not set up and prepared and secure enough to operate at a loss on this funnel until it's optimized, then it might be worth holding off because there is a good amount of testing and validating before you have something that is super profitable. Okay, so after learning about the difference between a live launch and evergreen funnel, I wanna know which one is right for you. If you sell a program, if you have a course, whether it's DIY, cohort style, coaching, mentorship, whatever, which one is the best fit for you? Evergreen or live launch? And no matter which one you're doing, you've heard me say it before, I will say it again, you need to be tracking your data, which is why I've created a spreadsheet for you that you can grab up and plug and play immediately. It is a launch email tracker and planner. It works for live launches and evergreen funnels so that you can plan and track your launch email sequence so you know exactly what's happening, when it's happening, how to communicate it to your team or yourself so you can keep yourself organized and you know what's performing and what needs to be optimized. You can grab that in the link below, totally free. It's just a spreadsheet that you can grab and plug into your launch or your evergreen funnel right away. All right, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.